Lord, we are grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done, for all you are doing. We great, we are grateful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We have faithful people in the house this morning. Hallelujah. It's a blessed day, a day to be alive and well. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah to your name, Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. We are grateful to God. This season, God is opening our eyes to see that he has given us the keys to nations. This season, God is opening our eyes to see that he has given us the keys to nations. And all through this month, we are expanding on the scripture. We are expanding our dream. We are expanding our vision to be able to capture what God has in store for us. Because the Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it come to the heart of any man what God has in store for us. So this morning we start by thanking God for giving us the courage, for giving us the instruction, for giving us his grace. Matthew 14, 28 to 29, again talking about the encounter of Peter and Jesus. The Bible says that Peter called to him, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on the water toward Jesus. So this morning we are thanking God for the clarity of his voice speaking to us this season. God is speaking to us clearly. The Bible says in the last days, the spirit of the Lord will speak expressly. In the last days, the spirit of the Lord will speak expressly. So God is speaking to us expressly this season. Let's thank God for his word coming to us because we are taking the world over from, 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 from destroyers. We are taking the world over from, from the evil ones. We want to have a world. We are creating a world where people are free to live their potentials. We are creating a world, a system that would help everybody to be able to discover and actualize their true potentials where nobody will be, will be kept under. That's a world we are creating out of, <clears throat> out of the chaos that we have in the world system right now. So let's thank God for giving us vision, for giving us clarity in the name of Jesus. Let's thank him for the courage to dare in this month of April and beyond. So every day we are saying, God, thank you for courage to dare. You're going to dare things this month that you have maybe probably been thinking, will this thing work? How will I do it? How will I go about this? You are going to dare. It is time to dare. It is time to, to break free from the norm. It is time to be all that God wants you to be. That is what we are saying at this time. Come on now. So let's give God some praise this morning for the courage he is releasing to us. We are thanking him ahead. Thank you for the power to do seemingly impossible things. Seemingly impossible things because sometimes because of the environment where you find yourself, they tell you some things are impossible. They tell you some things are not possible. And if we are not careful, we tend to we tend to allow those things to bog us down. But I'm telling you that this season, 
God is opening us up into a new realm. God is giving us new dreams, new visions. Let's go ahead and thank him for the power to do seemingly impossible things, for the power to do seemingly impossible things. See, one of the things I believe is that the people that will carry the, the, um, uh, the, the solution to Nigeria's problems and Africa's problems, I know there are people around me. I know, I know, and probably one of them may just be on this call right now. So I want you to believe God for something big, for something massive, not just food on your table, not just close to where you cannot solve a national problem and be poor. You cannot solve a continent problem problem and be broke. It's not possible. You are solving problems for millions of people. You can never be poor. You can never have any, any need that will not be met. That is it. That is it. So I want I'm, I'm trusting God that in the midst of our daily pursuit, we will be able to dream big enough to be able to, 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 to capture what God has in store for Africa. We'll be able to capture what God has in store for the world that we are in. And that is my encouragement to us as we go through the season. Thank you, Lord, for grace to break records and set new ones. It is time to set new records. The one you celebrated, the testimony you shared uh, many days ago is, is now old school. We need new testimonies, new occurrences of course intervention. That is what we are talking about. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mark 3, 14. Mark 3, 14, message translation. The Bible says, he settled on 12 and designated them apostles. The plan was that they would be with him and he would send them out to proclaim the word and give them authority to banish demons. He settled on 12. I told you, the people that will restore Africa, they are around me. Because I know that one of the visions that God has given me is the restoration of Nigeria and Africa consequently. So the people that will do that work, I know they are around me. So I don't know if you are on this call, but if you believe that you have a mission to this world, then I want you to pray this with with. Um, with assurance, pray it with assurance. Even if you have not been thinking of it before, just believe that God will begin to speak to you and give you ideas as we go through the season. Say, Lord, thank you because I am called and chosen. The Bible says many are called, few are chosen, but you are chosen. God has chosen you. It's not because you qualify. It's not because of your training. It's not because of your background. It's just because of who he is. It's because of who he is. So let's thank God for the authority to be his representative here on earth. Lord, thank you for the authority to be your representative here on earth. You are God's apostle. You are Jesus' representative. Meaning that everything Jesus embodied, everything Jesus meant, you are meant to be. Hallelujah. Jesus came and he created a new movement, contrary to the, um, to the systems of his days. And because they saw that he was building another tribe, they thought that by eliminating him, that would be the end of his movement. But no, they were wrong because that movement was powered by the Spirit of God. So they couldn't keep the movement down. And that is how the movement has spread and has reached out to you and to me. Hallelujah to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you have been chosen. You have been chosen not just to meet your personal needs, not just 
uh, to put food on your table. See, what God is doing in and through you is beyond what you and your family will eat. Jesus said, um, uh, do not worry what you will eat or what, uh, uh, what you will drink or what clothes you will wear. He said that is what people who don't have vision, the Gentiles. He said that's what they spend the most of their day thinking about. He said you think more about the kingdom and how to do things right, how to enforce the kingdom of God in all spheres of human endeavor. He said, when you get the, the picture of how to bring the kingdom down to earth, he said, all these things will be added unto you. When you get the picture, when you get the strategy, when you get the game plan, he said, all these things will be added unto you. Thank you for the authority to be your representative here on earth. Lord, I receive grace to remain in and with you. Can you make that declaration this morning? Because you need to remain in Jesus. You need to remain with him. That's why the Bible says that they will be with him. That's the first thing. If you don't understand the thinking pattern of Jesus, the mindset of Jesus, the behavioral pattern of Jesus, you will not be able to replicate it. And that's one of the challenges we have in the church today. We have a lot of Christians who have been cooked just to be able to meet their own needs. They have not been able to understand how to, how to build a community of people, how to build a tribe that would be different, that would that would change the narrative. And that's why it looks like we have a lot of churches, but very little impact because we are not kingdom focused. The Jews are not so many, but they build impact. They build a community. Anywhere the Jews are, they build a community and they impact, they, 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 they are able to pull the wealth of, of that society to their own community because they understand this principle. It's a kingdom principle because it originated from them originally anyway. So they are able to understand it. They build it anywhere they go. And that is what God is saying. And that's what God is saying here. So we have to remain with Jesus so that we can understand his mindset. We can understand his heart. I declare that I am your mouthpiece. He said that they, that they may proclaim the word. You are God's mouthpiece. You are God's mouthpiece. You are speaking for Jesus anywhere you show up this week. You are God's mouthpiece. You are speaking for him. The Bible says, do not deny him that speaks. You are speaking for Jesus. Wherever I show up today, I declare that wrong and evil disappear. Everything wrong, everything evil, I dispel them from my environment. In the name of Jesus, I stand for what is right. I choose what is right. I do what is right. In the name of Jesus, I stand up for what is right. Hallelujah. I stand up for what is right. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, I banish demonic activities. I banish satanic manipulations in the lives of people anywhere I show up today. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, awesome Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We are taking nations. And there's something Jesus said in Matthew 7, 7 or 8, the Living Bible. He said, ask and you will be given what you ask for. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives. Anyone who seeks finds. If only you will knock, the door will open. Ah, somebody, you see yourself? He said, if only you will knock. So is it possible that it's because you have given up knocking that it looks like the door has not opened to you? Is it possible? What have you given up on? Some people have given up on their dreams. They say, oh, uh, this country, 
a nothing can work in this country. Ah, it, it, and before you know it, you start thinking, oh, I need to jack my, I need to move, I need to. If what God is telling you to do is to move, please move. But if it is motivated by your lack of faith in where you find yourself, or because your your friends and family are also moving, then you may just be running out of God's plan. <laughs> you may just be walking out of God's plan for your life. So it's important. Said, if only you will knock, the door will open. So today I ask and I receive. I seek and I find. So I don't know what are your goals for this month? What are your goals for this week? What are your goals for today? Can you just begin to speak over those goals? Jesus said, if only you will knock, the door will open. Can you knock on those doors this morning? Knock on those doors. You need funding for your business. Can you knock on those doors? Bring down the heavens, bring down the kingdom over your finance right now. That funding that you need for that business, can you bring down heaven and see people walking and people flocking to, to, be, to be investors in that business? Can you see it right now? Can you see it right now? Can you see it right now? Come on now. Can you see it right now? Can you see it right now? Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for clarity of vision. Thank you, Lord, for giving me that template, the template, the template to reclaim Nigeria, to reclaim Africa. Lord, I am grateful. Thank you, mighty Father, for this template, for delivering the template for Nigeria, the template for Africa to me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, I receive it with thanksgiving. 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 In the name of Jesus, Lord, I receive it with thanksgiving. Lord, I receive it with thanksgiving. Lord, I receive it with thanksgiving. Oh, Mazika la Mashika Tayababa. Pray over your goals for this month. Pray over your goals for this month. Leba Karabushika Lizikitikiti. Zele O Katayababa. For this week, for this day, pray over those goals. Where are you going today? Can you? To speak over your activities today. He said they will send his angels ahead of you to bear you up in all your ways, lest you dash your foot against any stone. Can you go ahead and begin to speak over your activities for today? As you go out, he said, I will give my angels charge over you to bear you up in all your ways, lest you dash your foot against any stone can you begin to speak <laughs> speak over today speak over your activities speak 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 do not deny in the speaks <laughs> when you speak you cannot be denied <laughs> can you speak those words right now speak into your day right now in the name of jesus E makarabu sinda le baru sikete ele beruzi kaya la baba ye marika tashi kaya baba le breke keke 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 le sheko o mazika le busi kaya baba baba there shall be a performance in the name of Jesus I declare over that goal over that vision today there shall be a performance in the name of Jesus there shall be a performance in the name of Jesus, there shall be a performance in the name of Jesus. You will not be disappointed. You will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. He said, if only you will knock, the door will open. I declare to you today, the door shall open in the name of Jesus. 
every ancient doors. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. We carry the glory of the King. We enter majestically. We enter triumphantly. We enter graciously. In the name of Jesus, we enter graciously. Hey, in the name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, awesome Father. Hallelujah. Psalm 2, verse 7. Now we are stepping up the asking. We are taking over nations. Hallelujah. Hmm. The Living Bible. I'm reading from the Living Bible. The Bible says, His chosen one replies, I will reveal the everlasting purposes of God. For the Lord has said to me, you are my son. This is your coronation day. Today, I am giving you your glory. Hmm. You are my son. This is your coronation day. You know what this means? That means God is saying, you are mine. And whatever belongs to me, belongs to you. Praise God. So let's declare over ourselves today, the everlasting purposes of God are revealed to me. Hallelujah. <laughs> today, the everlasting purposes of God are revealed to me. Look at what God said. He said, I will reveal the everlasting purposes of God. I will reveal the everlasting purposes of God. The purposes of God for your community, the purposes of God for our nation, for our continent, for our world, God is revealing them to you. It is people who are crazy enough, who are daring enough, who are believing enough that receive things like this. Because for many people, it is about survival all over the world, all over the world, developed or not developed. Many people only care about the next meal, about um, the um, uh, um, maybe ensuring their children are fine and all of that. That's what virtually everyone all over the world is thinking about. It's just them and their families. But God is saying that I want to give you nations. So we need to understand the everlasting purposes of God. I, I pray that somebody on this call or somebody that is um, catching up with the replace will be able to catch these things. I pray that these words will, will resonate with your spirit, man, and you will truly catch it. You will truly receive it. In the name of Jesus, the everlasting properties of God are revealed to me. I declare I am a child and heir of God. Therefore, whatever belongs to my father belongs to me. The head is the Lord and all the fullness thereof. Whatever belongs to my father belongs to me. The earth is the Lord and all the fullness thereof. Whatever belongs to my father belongs to me. Therefore, the earth belongs to me and all the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to me and all the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to me and all the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to me and all the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to me and all all the fullness thereof. The earth belongs to me and all the fullness thereof. In the name of Jesus, I ascend my royal throne. Hallelujah. I am royalty. Today, I walk as a royalty. Everywhere I go, walking on the streets, driving on the road, I am royalty. In my workplace, I am royalty. In my business, I am royalty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus glorifies himself 
in and through me today. He said, today I am giving you your glory. Remember in John 17, Bible, Jesus said, Lord, he said, Father, it is time for you to glorify the Son. So today is your day of glorification. You will be glorified. You will be dignified. Is there anyone here that looks like you have been dishonored by people? It looks like you have been disrespected. People don't even understand your value and, and probably they've even treated you wrongly. I'm telling you today in that same place, you will be dignified. In that same place, you will be glorified. Who am I talking about to this morning? Give the Lord some praise and say, yes, he's talking about me. As you have mocking and preparing uh, to get to, to, to leave the house and go to work, can you just be muttering those words and say, yes, he's talking about me. He is talking about me. Hallelujah. God glorifies himself in and through me today. Therefore, anywhere I go, I am glorified. I am dignified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm 2 verse 8. Now, this is where we are taking the nations. We are speaking into the nations. So it says, if you ask me, ah, I will give you the nations. If you ask me, I will give you the nations. All the people on earth will be yours. So can we conclude that why we are not taking nations is because we are not asking. Can we just say that because God said, if you ask, I will give you. So if we are not taking nations, if we have so many churches and we are not impacting our community, we are not changing anything in our nation, could it be that we are not asking? Could it be that the only thing we have been asking for is food on the table and clothes to wear and to look good and to get a job? Could it be that that is all we have been asking and that is all we have been getting? Could it be? Because we have not been asking for the nation. We are just concerned about the next meal, about that job that provides food and clothing, that is all our prayers. That is all our prayers. Can we change the syllables? He said, if, if you ask me, if you ask me. I was sharing with, uh, with some people yesterday, and I said, there's a group of people in Nigeria, for example, the tribe is probably one of the least tribes, but they instill in themselves that this entity called Nigeria belongs to us. And when you enter any office today, any ministry, you will see them at the hem of affairs in that office, but they are very small. They control the, the, the politics of Nigeria, but they are very small, but because they believe that Nigeria belongs to them, they take it. The Jews are usually very small when they enter any place, but the Jews believe in one God told them, wherever the soul of your fish are tread, I will give for your possession. So anywhere they go, the wealth of that land comes to the Jews. They believe that the wealth of that land will come to them and they get it. They always do. Anywhere you see Jews, they are always prospering because they believe the health belongs to them. And God is saying here, if you ask me, I will give you the nations. If you ask me. If you ask me. So that's my encouragement to us today. Let's declare for ourselves as we wrap up the prayers this morning and receive insights to take over nations for Jesus. I walk in wisdom to create structures and systems to deliver nations from oppression and bad leadership. I receive insights to take over nations for Jesus. I walk in wisdom to create structures and systems to deliver nations from oppression and bad leadership. 
I declare that all the people connected to my mission are drawn to me. I declare that all the people connected to my mission are drawn to me. I walk in wisdom to create structures and systems to deliver nations from oppression and bad leadership. I walk in wisdom. I walk in wisdom to create structures and systems to deliver nations from oppression and bad leadership. I walk in wisdom to create structures and systems to deliver nations from oppression and bad leadership. I walk in wisdom to create systems and, 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 and structures to deliver nations from oppression and bad leadership. I declare that all the people connected to my mission are drawn to me. Hallelujah to Jesus. Everyone that God is tearing up their hearts to deliver Nigeria from oppression and bad leadership, they are drawn to me. We create a movement. We know it will take some years, but we are committed to the vision because we know eventually it will happen. So we are committed to this vision. We give it all it takes because we know eventually it would happen. So Lord, we give you all the praise this morning. We thank you for these words we have spoken in your hearing. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah. Somebody grateful to God this morning. We are taking the nations. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So let's take our close our charge as we close. For this morning, let's take our closing creed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. you can, this is a place where you want to unmute. Uh, this is a place where you want to unmute in case you want to partake in this. So let's do this together. Something massive is coming my way today. I believe it. I receive it. And it has become my reality. Hallelujah. Something huge is coming my way today. I believe it. We're serious. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's a blessed morning. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm super excited at what is coming. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited at what is coming. Praise God. All right. So we're going to take our close out music like we usually do okay hallelujah 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 it's my winning season it's my winning season